Recently I recorded a class teaching the, the Lord's Prayer in Spanish. So today I'm teaching the Hail Mary in Spanish. Okay? So Hail Mary, we call it the Ave Maria in Spanish. And it's like this. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. So, Dios te salve Maria means God save you, Maria. Full are you, or full you are, of grace. El Señor es contigo is the Lord is with you. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Blessed are you, or thou, entre todas las mujeres, among all the women. Blessed are you among all the women, or are thou. In Spanish we don't have the archaic thou as uh, the Hail Mary in, in English. Okay, so it's the same language uh, for, for uh, biblical or for uh, modern matters. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. And blessed y bendito es el fruto, is the fruit de tu vientre, of your tummy. Vientre would be tummy, right? I know in English we use the word womb. In Spanish uh, we use the word vientre, which means tummy, right? The word for womb would be... Uh, Utero, right? So, um, vientre, Jesús, Jesus. Okay? Santa María, Madre de Dios. Um, this would be Santa María, Saint Mary, Madre de Dios, Mother of God. Ruega por nosotros pecadores. Pray, ruega. You pray you por nosotros, for us, pecadores, sinners, right? The word for sin in Spanish is pecado. Pecado. And pecador, with the R, would be sinner. And pecadores, with ES at the end, would be the plural, sinners. Ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Now, and at the time of our death. Ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amen. For Amen, okay? Which is a Hebrew or Aramaic. So let's read it uh, more fluid now. Dios te salve, María. Llena eres de gracia. El Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. 